Are you worried about radiation from microwave ovens or even cell phones? What about x-ray machines? News 4's Dr. Peter Ostrow shows us uh, efforts now to limit our exposure in tonight's report for your health. Diagnostic imaging plays an ever-growing role in medicine, and for a good reason. It's a window into the anatomy and physiology of the body that clinicians otherwise would not be able to see. Scans can show an area of the brain, like the one on the right here, that we can save from damage due to a stroke. But CT scanners use x-rays, and too much exposure can be harmful. There's no question, as you look at the last 5 to 10 to 15 years, as the use of medical imaging, and especially CT scans, have risen dramatically, uh, we have become very conscious of radiation risks, and that information is now out uh, in the public. So we want to avoid unnecessary exposure, and we don't want our physicians to order too many tests. It's our job, really, to be the guardians of this technology, and to explain to the patients and the clinicians the relative risks involved. One way to keep track of risk is to know how many x-rays or scans a patient has had before. Dr. Pearson is chief of radiology at the Collida system, and he can check a patient's previous history in that system, but not in others. We will have patients who were seen in another facility, maybe even an outside facility, show up in our emergency room for urgent care for which if we had the outside imaging study or CAT scan that was done would alleviate the need to repeat it. We need to develop a better system. Meanwhile, patients should ask about risks and shouldn't panic. The one thing I would hate to see and the one thing that really cannot happen is it scares the patients to the point where they might think twice about getting an imaging study that they need. Now your doctor should be able to tell you why a scan is needed and whether there's a different test like ultrasound or MRI that could yield the same information without radiation exposure. And when you have a scan, get a copy of it on a disc like this one. That might avoid having to have it repeated. Good idea. What about when you go to the dentist and they take uh, x-rays of your mouth? You know, Dental x-rays use very, very little radiation. Um, that's not something to be worried about. And the same, same for mammograms. There are guidelines for mammogram exposure. Excellent. All right. Very good. Thanks so much, doctor.